Got him. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's one, go. One down. Reload. Well, what's up, guys? It's Daniel in Houston from Arms Family Homestead, and we're going to do something a little bit different today. Hopefully. We're back in camo. Catch, clean, and cook. Yes. But what kind of season is it? Because deer season ended. Turkey season hasn't started. It's really not even squirrel season. I think that's already closed. Rabbit season's not open right now i think it's already shut down i think i'd have to look it's make not, sure it's not duck season we're not going pig hunting the lasers with crow <laughs> you ever ate crow houston probably doesn't know yeah. if that's a figure of speech we're actually going to go do a little crow hunting today a friend called yesterday and said hey we've got some crow decoys and a crow call and we're gonna get a bunch of guys together and go shoot some crows houston and i have talked about it in the past i wonder what crow tastes like yeah. And Houston made some homemade chicken strips the other day. Yeah. And they were really good. Uh-huh. So he wants to try some crow nuggets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got your bird dog ready to go? Yeah. She's all tuned up? She, yeah, she's going to point for us all day. No, I don't think so. We don't need a German short hair pointer for crow hunting. Yeah. But we're going to take her just to get her out of the house and get her some experience in the field, huh? Yeah. She'll probably end up just staying in the truck. Let's go, Kelsey. Come on. Kelsey, hey, that's not a crow, that's a goose. I don't recommend going after the goose. Yeah, she'll attack you. You know how many times I've gotten scared of her because she tried to attack me when I tried to get an egg from her? <laughs> Maybe like four, I don't know. That's because I got scared quickly. There's some odd looking deer, Houston. Sure look pretty thick on the necks right now. Those deer look a little elkish. Yeah. Wish we could have killed one of them. Really, Kelsey? <laughs> All right, we just we just pulled in the gate, so we're on my buddy's property and the reason uh you see those elk there is we're actually going to be crow hunting on the same place where houston and i came elk hunting back during the fall kelsey come on man so they've done a little work here and you got to follow me on this one all right so lindell the buddy of mine where my pig traps at where we tried to burn i told you we've been friends our whole life this is actually his brother's property and lindell's had his bulldozer down here a couple times and done a lot of work since we were here um, elk hunting and they <laughs> the elk herd has really migrated onto this property this winter he said they've, they've been sending me pictures and videos of like herds of elk of like 40 and 50 at a group and uh, we saw a few on the way in but not a ton so who knows we may be able to get to see a bunch of elk today obviously we can't shoot an elk today but, thing, but we will be back here we will be back next season i promise we will we have already talked about it we've we got a we're gonna have a better game plan this season huh yes That's one big donkey. Sure, one big beaver. <laughs> hey, that's my friend. This one's Ralphie, and then this one's Jackie. Um, you don't think they already had names? You're just gonna make your own up? Yeah. Yeah, only if 
tie a new guy that had some pig traps. Yeah. Can't even drive across the pasture right now. It's so rough. Pigs have rooted everything up. I find you a comfortable seat. Every tree down here's got stickers on it, though. Yeah. So sounds like we're gonna be on the ground. Right there. Get that thing loaded. I'm working on it. There's already crows flying around us. We ain't even got set up yet. There you go. Now. As much as I hate to admit it, I found a good use for a cedar tree. Pull one out of the brush pile. Yeah. Why don't you put your hood up, cover your head? Yeah, I don't know why I took it off. I don't think I can do that. Got a couple circling, huh? Yeah. Oh. I can shoot that. Shoot him. You didn't reload. You busted feathers off of him. I may have to bump you up to a little different shell. <laughs> 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 you hit him. You should have shot him when he was a little closer. You kept waiting and kept waiting. Well, I didn't know if I was supposed to yet or no. I, I didn't know if we were waiting because of them or what. It's fine. Got him. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's one, go. One down. Reload. Put some shells in your gun. Let's go. <laughs> Right over behind us. That's a buzzard, though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, good thing I didn't shoot. He come in flapping his wings over the, over our head. Good thing I didn't shoot that thing. Yeah, don't shoot the buzzards. Only you had a bird dog to go pick up your birds for you. Oh, I know. <laughs> Whacked him, did you? Yeah. Coming at you. Look. Reload. switch up spots and hunt around these pecan trees these crows like to eat pecans but you guys probably won't be able to see them very well but there are tons of elk over in that pecan bottom see them walking through right there i just saw one cow right then but we probably saw 12 or 15 in the distance can't see them from here there's one where's she at there those are free range 
elk in southern Oklahoma. Bunch of them out, and it never, I don't know, like that's what. But so now that I've got that bottom cleaned up, yeah, well, that's okay, a so. fancy crow decoy right there. <laughs> it's almost like somebody took a dove decoy and put it in a trash bag. Almost. Don't look at me. <laughs> Shot overhead. Definitely shot that one. I don't know, but I hit the motherfucker every damn time. What in the world, <laughs> fellas? <laughs> that guy's tough. <laughs> Took 10 minutes to call that guy in overhead. He's been behind us forever. <laughs> and y'all missed him? I didn't miss him. <laughs> no. <laughs> I that saw. Was flu. Yes. Crap. <laughs> Where did it go? Uh, it was on safety. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was videoing the bird falling out of there and hear you some crap. I thought he shot. Well I tried and then it was on safety. <laughs>
straight out front. Look to your left. Straight out front. <laughs> hey, guess who didn't load their shotgun? Hey. Hey, hey listen, it? listen. Overhead. Still here, bird. Got him. Who shot that one? That's me. We, we both did. Houston had another dang it moment. <laughs> no. That's why. I saw lots of wads flying, but no feathers. Well, that was dumb. Next time, let's let them get closer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Got him. Got him, baby! Nailed him, Houston. Yeah. I was pulling the slack out of the trigger, so you better be. You should knock that one down right here on the beach. Looks like a crow to me. Well, Houston, made it home from your first crow hunt. Did. How many crows you killed? 12, 15, 20? Well, technically, we killed five. But we lost one of them. Not near as many as we should have killed, huh? I think we started a little bit too late. Yeah. Got there a little late. We should have started about 30 minutes earlier. These guys took a lot of shots at several crows that uh, did not connect and connected on a few that they didn't knock down. Uh, that's why I was shooting them with camera because I don't miss. Oh, my gosh. With the camera. That was so corny. <laughs> so, uh, listen, we've never eaten crows before. Houston's no. talked about doing a crow hunt in the past and... Today we jumped on the opportunity, so I guess today we're going to be eating crow. Yep. I'm not sure what this is going to turn out like. I have no idea what the breast of a crow looks like. I don't know if it's going to be really dark red meat. I'm going to guess it's going to be pretty dark, like like dove maybe. I can't imagine it's going to be nearly as white and flaky as chicken or turkey. But we're going to take the breast out of these crows in Houston uh, cooked some chicken strips the other night with his mom and he's uh he's become quite the little little chef lately been doing a lot of cooking so he says he's gonna make us some some crow nuggets yeah. right i'll try i'll try i hear crows i hear crows oh yeah they're circling us man they know what's going on we're like, we're going to there's like three or four you can grab a <laughs> mouth call and call them up real quick see if you can shoot one in the yard <laughs> all right so like i said i've never cleaned never eaten a crow but all i'm gonna do is uh here here's your bucket i'm gonna we're just gonna remove the breast so we're gonna pluck a few feathers out of the out of the breast Girl. and try not to get feathers all in mom's truck <laughs> we're gonna peel that skin open out it's exactly what i expected to see inside that skin was a, a dark red breast so it's gonna be uh similar to a dove if you've ever eaten a dove mm. so just like a chicken you got two breasts one on either side of the chest plate there so we'll take those out we're probably gonna take them in the house and soak them in some salt water houston's throwing feathers everywhere let's put the feathers on the ground might be a better idea now with some upland birds you can put your thumb under there like a bird, like a like even ducks and stuff, and you can just pop that whole chest plate out, or you can just cut each individual breast off the bone. I don't know what's going to be best with a crow, so I'm going to try it both ways. Well, 
what we're after right there. One little, whoo, that was close. One little breast of crow. And yes, that was a duck egg. We put our duck eggs to use. All right, y'all. Chef Houston's going to take the lead on this one because uh, <laughs> I don't know about it. He says it's going to be good. He, he's no, a I chicken did, strip expert, it. right? I just said I know how to fry stuff. So. Yeah. So we're going pretty basic. So egg wash, flour. He's already pre-seasoned his flour. What all did you put in there, there, Mr. Chef Houston? Um, a little put, this, a little that. I put paprika. Paprika. Complete seasoning. Onion powder, garlic. I All need right. To put them on this. So, what I went ahead and did because we want thin little crispy crow breast, right? Yes. So I, I, I butterflied those open. So here's two that I didn't butterfly because I just wanted to show you what they actually look like. It does look a lot like duck or dove. Maybe it has a little bit of a deer meat look to it, Earl. What do you think? It smells like deer meat. So you're going to go ahead and season up all the breast pieces too, huh? Not just the flour? Yes. Okay. So you're going egg flour grease. Some people go flour egg flour or egg flour egg flour. You gonna single dip or double dip it? We can do both. Oh, test it out, huh? Yeah. Hey, hang on, wait. Shake, shake, shake it off. <laughs> Let me dip in them gloves in the grease. I'm All right, try. try, try flour, egg flour. You and them silly gloves. Hey. You're know. probably one of those little old ladies that likes to wear dishwashing gloves too, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> See how it seems like it sticks on there a little better? Yeah. Flour, egg, flowers, the way I like to do it. Oh, one's cooking more. Yeah? See? Would not have been good. All right, I'm on flipping duty. As thin as these little guys are, they won't take long at all to cook. <laughs> Jeez, Earl, did you put up with that all day? Hmm. Uh, Houston, these don't look like mom's chicken strips. You know what they look like? They look like deer my... deer no. backstrap nuggets. No, they look like my uh. Crowbots. Crowbots. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hard to argue with that, I guess. You think they're going to be tough or are they going to be tender? Tough. Now, we could have taken these and, you know, let them soak in salt water like we did and then marinated them, wrapped them in bacon and put them on the smoker. No. Then most people would say... Cook them like that for a few hours, a couple hours. Then you take the bacon off, throw the crow away, and eat the bacon. <laughs> what? It's a joke. Oh, I was about to say, there's no way. Okay, chef. So this is your deal. I'm just kind of in the background today. So? So uh, you get to taste it first. <laughs> no, I made it for you, so you have to make it. Ah. This is your video, man. This all this is you, man. This is this is your dream. Today you're living out your your dream crow hunt. I am. <laughs> all right, Houston's gonna make me go first. Never ate crow, literally. I have to figuratively. Kelsey, quit. And the dogs are wrestling. It's too hot. I should probably wait a little while. I'm afraid it's going to be tough. It really looks like a piece of deer tenderloin, honestly. Wow, that's hot. So it's definitely not super tender. Mm, it's not tough. Kelsey, Earl, you're on. Y'all go away. 
Y'all go away. We'll give you one of these treats in a little while. Okay. You want my true, honest opinion? Yeah, I don't care about what the crow tastes like. It's like non-gamey deer taste, like a piece of deer backstrap that we fried, but has the consistency of chicken. Does that even make sense at all? It's not bad. It, I mean, trust me, it's it, not it bad. It smells, It whenever I was like messing with it, it smelled like a deer. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. You're confusing me. Hey, you two, three, however many there are, y'all go play somewhere else. Listen, we're trying to work around here. Some of us have to work for a living. Unlike you dogs. You just get to play and have fun. Yeah. That's not true. Why? They have to get in trouble whenever they do something. That's not working for a living. <laughs> All right, buddy. Your turn. Trust me. You will like it, I bet you. Is it hot? Well, the piece I had was burning my fingers and my lips, so. Outside, outside, outside. Y'all go out there and wrestle, okay? All right, first bite. No ketchup, just straight off the bird. Straight off the It tastes a whole lot different than it smells. I told you. It doesn't taste gamey at all, does it? No. But it's kind of like a deer flavor almost. Pretty close. Pretty close. But it like it's kind of pulls apart like chicken. Yeah. That one did not very really pull apart. Look at it. <laughs> that well, the one I had did. It, 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 that one definitely did. This one was a little tight, but I'm not going to lie. That was actually better than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so for the real southern taste test, you'd have to put a little ketchup on it, right? Yes. I'm not kidding, dude. Mm. I mean, it's not as flaky as chicken. It's not going to... Mm. It's not stringy like chicken as much, but I'm probably going to sit here and eat the whole plate. Like, I really like it. That one was definitely tough. What'd you say? This piece is a lot better than that one. <laughs> so what we're uh, discovering is from one bird to the next. They're different. They taste totally different. Yes, they do. Like my first one, really good. Houston's first one, he said was, eh, okay. And then I cut him off of a piece of another one and he was like, oh my goodness. That's good. That. Don't ask me why. Why one tastes different than the other. Maybe it's cooked a little bit longer, a little bit less. I don't know. Or but maybe it's because it's a different bird. Maybe one was eating corn off the deer feeder and the other one was eating corn out of cow turds. I don't know. <laughs> That's the worst way you could have said it. I don't know, man. But either way, crow hunting was fun. The it problem is, this is the last weekend of the season in Oklahoma. Who knew there was a crow season? I mean, we did, but most people probably never knew there was a crow season. And on Ty's place where we, you know, we're elk hunting last fall and crow hunting today, there were literally hundreds of crows. We just got there probably 30, 45 minutes too late. And uh, we are amateur crow hunters at best. But Houston, I think you shot what, three? Killed three today at least? I think so. You think so? T-H-A-N-K or T-H-I-N-K? You think so? I think. You think so. so? He did good though. He made some good shots. Hit a couple birds that didn't fall, and it's something Either way, I would, fun. I would have had like five birds now, and if the other three wouldn't have just flown away after I hit them. <laughs> Either way, it's something fun to do in the off season of you know all the other hunting seasons. You know, deer season's over, duck season's over, goose. It's not turkey season yet, and uh, well, we got into the hobby. Just a little too late, because now we'll have to wait until next season. Yep. You know what? 
So, can you remember Cameraman Ron's saying? Oh my gosh. I, I, I... Do something today. And it could, it just might change the world. Well, that's the end of it. Oh. Make sure you find a way to make somebody smile today. You never know. It just might change the world. Y'all take care. And we'll see you on the next one. Do something today to make somebody smile. Because you just never know. It might just change the world. That's right. Mm -hmm.